Nick Chubb came from small town Georgia to becoming one of the NFL's highest paid running backs. However, there's more to Nick Chubb's lifestyle than meets the eye. More lifestyle, career, and personal life stuff coming up NFL Lifestyle Mode. Nicholas Jamal Chubb was born in December 1995 in Chubbtown, Georgia. And in case you're wondering, his family are the same Chubbs that the town is named after. The establishment of this small town in Georgia, about an hour and a half from Atlanta, dates back to Nick's great-grandfather and his eight brothers in the mid-1800s. The city, with a population of over 200 today, used to be a free settlement for African Americans around the time of the American Civil War. Maybe you can really say that Great Grandpa Chubb was a revolutionary. The Chubb Chapel is over 150 years old and is a National Registered Historical Site. Talk about carrying the family name. But despite being born into a family the town is named after, Nick's childhood was anything but a bed of roses. He spent most of his time with his mother in Cedartown, Georgia, after his parents divorced when he was just four years old. Nick and his siblings Henry Jr., Zachary, and Nidra still got to spend time with their dad, though, since they had joint custody. Chubtown came with a lot of valuable life skills for Nick that would come in handy later in the future. He got to go to the farm with his dad and swim in Big Cedar Creek with his siblings. Nick was also an altar boy at the Chubb Chapel and used to fish near the creek. There is definitely some sport in the Chubb bloodline. His dad, Henry Sr., played college football at Valdosta State back in the day. Nick's older brothers both played college football as well. Henry Jr. played as a cornerback for Troy University, while Zach played as a defensive back for Air Force. Even Nick's uncle, Aaron Chubb, was a linebacker for Georgia, and his cousin Bradley played for the Miami Dolphins, while another cousin, Brandon Chubb, has made multiple NFL rosters as an undrafted free agent signing. Clearly, there's a lot of running in Nick's veins, and it's not just on the football field. Many people don't know that Nick did track and field and was a standout runner. Between 2011 and 2015, he competed in a ton of events from the 100 meters to the shot put. He also won the state title in the shot put in 2014 with a throw of 16.77 meters. After finishing his high school career with 102 rushing touchdowns, Chubb was ranked as a four-star recruit by Rivals and Scout.com. Nick had to stay at home and played for the Georgia Bulldogs. Chubb also broke a number of school and SEC records, including becoming the second all-time in SEC rushing yards, only behind college football great Herschel Walker. He even led the team to a national championship game, although they lost to Alabama in overtime. Nick Chubb was drafted by the Cleveland Browns in the second round with the 35th overall pick and was only the fourth running back selected in the draft that year. His rookie deal was worth $7 million spread across four years. And after that, the rest is history. He's averaged 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns over his first five seasons. His power and reliability have made him one of the most dominant runners in a pass-happy era. Chubb has been named second-team All-Pro and has been a Pro Bowler four straight years. When that deal was nearing its end in 2021, the Browns then offered Nick his current deal that has him ranked as the sixth highest running back in the entire NFL. This contract extension is worth a whopping 36 million over three years with 20 mil guaranteed. A whole lot of zeros. The Browns have a whole lot of talent, including Miles Garrett, Deshaun Watson, and Amari Cooper. Do you think this team can finally win a Super Bowl for long-starved Cleveland? Nick is pretty quiet and a reserved personality, so he kept it real classy with this new Mercedes GLC 63S that he recently got. This thing has over 500 horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. He had a little fun and went onto the Mercedes website and got onto the Build Your Own page. After a few minutes and $93,000 later, it came back with this beauty. He's also noted to have a Dodge Charger. Talk about driving the lane. Nick grew up a Superman fan, but later his friends convinced him that Batman is the best. Batman is a normal human being that has courage. Superman is indestructible, so he wouldn't really fear anything. Chubb wears a silver Batman shirt and has his cars with tinted windows, all inspired by Batman. 
He doesn't have any tattoos, but he says if he did, it would have something to do with the Dark Knight. It's become a real thing with shirts and hoodies coming out with Chubb as Cleveland's protector. There's even a comic book series where Nick Chubb is a Batman-like hero that protects the city. Nick says, I'm whatever Cleveland needs me to be. They need him to be a star on and off the field. He makes quite a lot of dough from endorsement deals. Dude has got sponsorship deals with some of the biggest brands and the largest companies in every sector. These include Nike, Dodge, Defiance Fuel, Snickers, Panini, Zenith, and FedEx. He's also signed to Chubb Limited, and no, not Nick's Chubb. This Chubb Limited is the world's largest publicly traded property and casualty insurance company. Having the name just makes sense. Big companies for a big player. Altogether, with endorsement deals and contract earnings, Nick Chubb's total estimated net worth comes to about $20 million. Sweet. However, you'll be surprised with all that cash that Nick has made over the years, he keeps it pretty low profile. And by low, we mean as low as it gets. In fact, Nick's retirement plan is something you'd expect from just a regular person. He said, that's one of my retirement plans, to go up there to Chubtown and rebuild some of those things. When I'm older, of course. I'd enlist the aid of some of my family members. We could go in there, rebuild and rearrange everything and restore them to their former glory. Dude's all about family. It's a surprise he doesn't have his own family yet. In fact, he currently isn't even in any known relationship. His last relationship ended in 2018. It was with a certain Lacey Shaw, who he began dating back in high school. The pair were together until fans noticed pictures of Lacey and her new man on social media. Since then, Nick hasn't made any mention of a relationship, but we hope he gets one soon. He's such a rich and good-looking guy after all. And he also has a very good heart. Nick hosts charity games with fans, and back in 2021, he launched his own cereal brand, Chub Crunch. All the income from sales goes to charity. To be more specific, it goes to a nonprofit organization focused on eradicating sudden infant death syndrome called First Candle. What a guy Nick Chubb is, and he's only getting started. Hope you enjoyed the video. Watch another one now. What are you waiting for?